Right, good morning, welcome to the farm. Before you see this video, I've got a bit of a goal. By the time the combine makes it out to the field, which well, will be in a month or so, we're going to be at over 500 subscribers. And by the time harvest finished, I want to get to 1,000 subscribers. There's only like 30, 38% of the people who watch the videos are actually subscribed. There's like 62%, I'll show you the stat here that aren't subscribed. So if you can go and subscribe, try and get to 500 for a start before the combine makes it out to the field. Cheers. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment. Big break now. It's a drill working there. Calf's obviously there, figured it out. Offer a wee bit of grub. There you go, munching away. Cows and Percy are just wanting to get in, rubbing against it, rubbing the paint off already. Thank you very much, Percy. But that's the objective there. Cask, get some grub, eat when they fancy eating, build them up onto a kind of bigger diet so when they come away from their mothers, they're not under shock. I better go and save uh, Lulu. She's on the quad bike alone. She's been surrounded. Oh, good dog. Hey, beast. That's the one that got TB tested. All clear. So, uprights go in like this. Just trying to figure out a way to put a bar across. I'm going to use these bits off a kind of funny shaped pallet that came with the roof sheets on the new shed. Now got one piece between the two. Originally, I took a piece of rebar got a point on it, folded it in 90 and then hammered it in the end to kind of make a wee 90 that would slot into slot into the top here but didn't really work that well and it was too thick to fit two pieces in. So I've now done it with J-bolts at an angle. This is all be covered in green stuff. So J-bolt in here, another one coming this way, J-bolt in there, they both fit. So that should work fine. The whole frame's coming together. Um, it's kind of, it's not very structural at the moment. At the moment basically like a monocoque design, unintentionally. The panel on the front and then the panel on the top all kind of gives, gives it its rigidity. So all of it together becomes rigid. Just came to check on the sunflowers and there's a dog which isn't mine in the field and nobody to be seen. Hmm. The dog has bolted, it's over there. I think I know whose dog it is, it's the joiners in the village, but I'll go and, go and see if he's missing a dog. It looks like it's running home at the moment. But the sunflowers, getting big, they're probably about a foot tall now. At least, at least a foot tall. There you go, a few weeds coming through, but not so, not so big a deal now because they're that big, the leaves are taking up most of the sunlight, the weeds won't be getting so much. That's most of the components for the bar in a pallet, right, in a potato box right now. So there's still two of those boards to make up. Uh, the boards still need painted or varnished or whatever. Uh, there's still some green greenery to come to wrap around uh, the kind of carousel, halo type thing. I don't know what you'd call that. Basically, above the bar. Uh, I need to wait until that arrives. It's ordered. There's lights. Some of them have arrived. Some are still to order. There's a car battery in there to power the lights. It's all coming together. There's a lot of components, to be honest. Way more than I thought. Time to set it up. Bar will be ready just in time to have a big rave in here once the floor's finished. All the subscribers, free entry. Everyone else, five quid. I think we'll get 10,000 10, people in here, do you think? I think we're doing well. And it's assembled. Well, all that I've made of it. Still got a couple of panels around there. It's getting there. Taking its time. A lot of flipping woodwork, and I'm not a fan of woodwork. Quite enjoyed doing the frame and the metal work, but wood's not for me. We've got a customer arrived in his tractor. No idea who that is, but quite like the idea of going uh, out for your lunch in a tractor. P guys on the neighbour's field are getting going. That rain should show up where in this shed still leaks. Hopefully we've improved it quite a lot. There'll still be a few bits. Won't have got them all, so just gonna wait here until 
for a wee bit while this rain is pouring, it's quite heavy, so hopefully, hopefully there'll be no drips, but I can't imagine that'll be true since there was so many before. I'll keep an eye out. If that doesn't show it up, then I don't know what will, but that bit's not wet at the moment. There's a oh, that's new. That's brand new. Oh God. Never had water there. Brilliant. Jesus. Oh my God. That side's thick. And this is uh, significantly worse than it's ever been. Uh, a few drips here and there. And I, don't know. Well, I need to go back up and fix it. So the drips that are left, I think they're basically coming from the seams between the two sheets. So we need to seal them off as well, not just the J-bolts. The J-bolts have helped, there is less now, apart from that bit, ignore that bit. Told you it gets hit every day. Maybe we should move it. Currently doing some spray painting. This box is going yellow to do with the sunflowers. It's gonna have some signs on it and whatnot. So spray gun. If anyone knows why it does that wee spluttery sound, let me know whether it's too thick or not enough air getting into it. I don't know. Don't know too much about spraying other than point and shoot. So shed builders are all back uh, this week. They've just been filling in. So big gaps they fill with uh, expanding foam and they seal over the top uh, with sealant. So you can see there, that's kind of the finished look. Um, but these bits, they'll trim all that back, that expanding foam then cover us over the top with a sealant just so grain doesn't seep in there and also moisture doesn't come through. Um, so I've done that around the shed. They've still got quite a few bits to do um, in terms of expanding foam and all the bit on the concrete pad that's above hand level because we need to we need to build a ramp up onto that pad. Don't want them to crack that edge. So the ramp will come in tomorrow. They'll get the rest of that done. These bits of foam, um, they're the exact same profile as those sheets. So they fit in the gap between those sheets and the concrete. Um, so pigeons and well not pigeons pigeons are quite big but small wee birds can't get in the gaps seal it all off completely and mice as well currently i've got some lights here making them i've got two sets of lights they're not joining them up so i'm doing some mm, questionable electronics so if i put two sets in parallel they should get the same current so they should be powered the same, whereas if you put them in series, I think, if I remember correctly, the current will half, so the, they'll be really dim. So hopefully this is going to work. You'll see in a second. But this is the bar. It's getting there. Lights and green stuff. Lights now work, both sets. So basically, they come as one set. You plug it in there, and it's on a USB, which that controls the current going through it, so you don't blow them. And um, we don't overpower them. So basically I cut the other one of these in half, split it there, soldered it to the two separate wire, two separate lines. And um, because they're LEDs, it doesn't matter which one's positive, negative, just either way or works as long as you've got um, both of them. Well, two sets going to each side of the positive, negative, you're fine. And I've got a wee bit of heat shrink on there. So I'll put it on, shrink it on, and then it should be rel relatively tidy. So there's a wee switch here, you can change the setting on them, but they'll just be on solid all the time so that's what it looks like and you just straighten all this up so it's hanging at the same height that's almost the color it'll be a bit darker than that and then you've got these fake greenery does the job still a few to go of that might might make that thicker i'm not sure uh, and then two pieces at the back still to make up of the worktop and then it all needs to be fully fit up because right now it's sitting on these little brackets there so I need to make a groove in each of them for the panels to sit flush I've got about two weeks of footage on my phone just now so I'm having to cut that all down so the next video is just going to be like two or three days and odd, odd bits and bobs 
doing a lot of odd jobs, so won't really include them. Anything that's relevant or interesting, I'll show. Dad's just been taking off a load of fertiliser along the road, so I'm just going to take the forklift off him. Off him. I need it. So there's going to be a big sign on that, and it's going to be a few boxes high, so it's right at the top. Uh, yellow, because some flowers are yellow. Barley goes in there, bruise, pump that shooting out. That's a tank of molasses, it's like trickly type, and it's used to one add a wee bit of sweetness so the cattle enjoy it, and it, it takes away the dust when you're bruising it on a stir in the air. Bruisers away now, left us a big pile of bruised barley. So we'll add rapeseed meal into that again, and that'll go along the road to the store cattle. They'll eat that for the next month or so, and then we'll get more done. But we'll, by the time more gets bruised, we'll actually have more cut. Uh, this year's crop will be in the shed, so. Really exciting news. Just heard from sellers who sell class equipment, so balers and combines and whatnot, and they also sell a lot of other kit, but we bought a combine from them and just been told it's arrived. Um, so we'll be having a PDI, pre-delivery inspection, by the dealership there. I'll get a few pictures sent out, so hopefully it's sent them and you can see them now. So that's it there, you can see it, big old green machine, and that's the header as well. So those will arrive on the farm in a few days time once they've carried out the PDI. The old one is going soon, they need to take it, clean it, uh, inspect it before it gets hit, shipped up north. It's been sold about two and a half hours north of here. Uh, near forest actually. Um, so I'll keep an eye out for that. I'm up there sometimes, but can't wait. It should be effectively 25% uh, more throughput from the com this combine than our old combine. And um, that was the reason why we had to buy a new trailer to keep up with it. So the first crop that will go through it will be a winter barley crop. And from now it'll be about three weeks. About there then through the big new combine. So can't wait. You can see this end now is starting to get filled in. They're up in the scissor lift there. Not a cherry picker today. Scissor lift right up there to the apex, get all these sheets done. Carrots starting to grow, wee 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 things. Tastes like a carrot. It's a field of spring barley at the moment, uh, roguing it. So it's for seed. That means next year, in the spring, it'll get re-sown again. Not just by us, by other farmers across the country, it'll be bought, sold to a merchant who treats it and then sells it on. So we're taking out any oats that are through the crop because you don't want them reseeding next year because then you get big multiplications of that. It gets inspected before harvest and it has to pass to be classed as a seed. So that's what we're doing, just going around looking for oats and anything else that shouldn't be in it. So there you go, there's an oat. Don't want that to come out in next year's seed for us or anyone else, so take them out. A number of female viewers has probably just boomed. This is the first crop that's been in the field since it's been drained, and you can see where the, the drainage has gone. That wee tuft going up that way, that's the direction of all the drains. Every 20 metres, I think, all the way across, all the way that way as well. They kind of go halfway, and then there's a leader that takes it down the middle and runs it off that direction. There's a waterway over there take it all the way and there's one in the corner I think there's another one up there if you can see it shed looks a beast in the sun it's really hot it's 23 degrees today poor choice of day to rogue oh looks dead smart from this end looks dead smart all the way around really nice clean symmetrical perfect for the OCDs I get the perfect angle for anyone with OCD that is quite satisfying. That's all the sheets up now. Looks great. The flashing that joins the roof sheets to the side sheets still needs to go on to kind of bridge that gap, so there's not a gap there anymore. But it's getting there. They've filled quite a lot of the gaps in the shed as well, all the seals between the concrete panels. Really making progress. There's not much left to do. It's Tuesday today. They're hoping to be away by Thursday, and that would only leave the concrete to be done. One pour is getting done on Friday, which I'm away for, 
and then our pour is getting done in two weeks so in two weeks three days from now the shed should be done so they've just used a couple of blocks to get up onto this edge and um, don't want to kind of crack that or chip that or break that so take the strain off it by using blocks to get up that's how they got the scissor lift and the cherry picker up bars in the way uh, well it's not in the way it's just here i might need to move it because when this concrete gets poured when they cut the grooves there's quite a lot of stir so i'll take away the bits i don't want to get stirry I'll take all that green greenery and the lights and maybe cover the top but the top still ought to be painted and whatnot so it'll be all right well i was just pulling up there i've got fertilizer to to take off here finished 48 or 49 well you need the number 48 bags come off Unloaded. That's 48 bags off uh, of sulfur nitrogen. So 600 kilo a bag. So they're 28, 9. It'll be about there because that's the limit of the lorry as well. 29 ton. So whatever it is. Today's question of the day is a quote. Everything is a hammer unless it's a screwdriver, and then it's a what? Just welded this door in. Don't worry, it's all going to be the same colour. So get rid of this magnet so it works, does what it's meant to do, works as a door, tightest fit ever. Anyway, that's it.